Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Budget Scenery Workshop. I hope you're all staying well and keeping safe. So, today's build, uh, I wanted to build something different, and I also wanted to experiment slightly. Um, so with that, I wanted to junk build a spacecraft. And I did um, ask for suggestions for names on this, and um, I went to Reddit for that. It seemed to be the best place, and I got a few suggestions. Like three were pretty cool, so I made like a amalgam of their suggestions, and I came up with a name, which I will say at the end there. So yeah, uh, this build was like, so like 99% junk bits, and one or two, one bit that was actually gifted from that bit you see me applying right there was, it looked to me, it looked like a exhaust fan kind of air intake kind of thing. And that was received in a big box from uh, Creatures, Caverns and Crafting. So thank you for that. Um, so yeah, this, this was made primarily out of junk stuff that I'd normally just throw away, like tin cans, scrap pieces, um, foot and cardboard. Uh, the bottoms there that I used for the exhaust were from uh, those little bubble blowing toys. They were shaped in the, like a rocket, so I just cut them down to size. Uh, various plastic lids from like coffee jars and stuff like that. Um, now this corrugated card, I bought it off eBay, and it came like a pack of 20 A4 sizes for like 2.99, 3.99, and the bits on the side there are from her old asthma inhalers. Um, I thought they made good fuel storage things, and here I am applying the um, the green stuff like piping, insulation, stuff like that. I had to cut it down to size because I just rolled them out and just let them dry. Now this, I, I wanted a, like some landing gear for it. So this was made entirely out of old sprues. I just cut them up and they did the job very well. In fact, I was very happy. Then I, I did uh, prime this in black and give it a highlight in white, but then I just decided to coat it green. I just thought it looked pretty cool. Uh, give it a very serious red dwarf vibe, I thought. <laughs> then, uh, if you've ever heard of a channel called Bill Making Stuff, I suggest you go check out his channel. I will link it in the description below. But um, to add like weathering effects, he uses these acrylic pens. And they are really, really cool. I was really happy with the end result. Then I'm just painting the tubes different colours, just to, you know, take the eye off the all green. <laughs> then I had some water slide decals that I got again from eBay in a big pack, uh, A4 was about 2 99 and here is the finished result and I believe I went with the name the Rust Flea 1. So thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye for now folks.